Okay, so we have our double wall that we created in the last video, and now I want to show you the structure of a stacked wall. So let's go back to the walls, and I'll pick the stacked wall that everybody begins with um, in their folder, which is um, exterior shingle over brick with wood stud, and we'll create that wall right here. So if we look at it from this side, we have brick and then on top of the brick connecting the same structural elements which are within the wall system we have um, shingle shingle on stud. Um, if I wanted that to be a clapboard siding on, on brick then I could select the stacked wall system and this is how it works. This is using two separate wall systems. If I show you the wood shingle we'll do the brick on wood stud that's the same as the one at the bottom and then if we do the one that's uh, wood shingle on wood stud this is the wall system that's on top right? and we've just simply stacked them together the way you stack them together is you uh, start with that first stacked wall system you can change the type and then you can change what you end up stacking. So let's take a look at the one that's already made um, so by selecting, go ahead and draw it in your drawing, select it and then hit edit type and you can see the brick is down here, the wood on shing shingles on wood stud is above. If we look a little bit further and look at the edit of the structure I have basically just grabbed those two wall systems and shown them um, as uh, one wall system being the top and one being the bottom and then this four foot um, height controls the height of the brick so if I wanted the brick to go up let's say to the first floor I could do eight feet and then the second floor could have all of this siding or if I wanted the brick just to be a two foot band around the bottom then I'd set it to two feet and that would be the exposed brick perhaps um, above the Above, above the foundation wall for instance. Okay, So um, if I decide to flip these, uh, which I wouldn't do in this case, brick on top of wood doesn't make as much sense, uh, then you can just move these up and down to change them and you can see them change in the preview. So let's say I wanted to make this instead of shingle on wood on top of brick, I wanted this to be the double wall system um, well let's just say I wanted to stack two different wall types okay so what I would do first is I would duplicate the wall and I'm gonna call this um, exterior siding over brick with wood stud Okay, so this is going to be the siding one instead of the shingle. So I would then go in here and sw swap out this single shingle on wood with siding on wood. And now I have a new um, stacked wall system. Let's go get it. This is a uh, siding over brick and oh that changed that one so let's let me add another one and this one I'm gonna switch back to the original one so we have shingle over brick siding over brick now as a second stacked wall system over here we've created a wall sweep on top of um, the brick wall system is usually when we have a stacked wall system like this um, let's move this one forward so that you can see how it relates to this one usually you have some kind of cap over the brick as a transition it's a water table so we have to create that as a sweep um, and so if I go into this in order to do that I have to either add the sweep to the bottom of the shingle system or the top of this brick system so I selected um, or created a brick, uh, just the brick 
with wood stud. I created that and put that in my drawing. Let's make that a little bit wider. There it is. And I want to flip it. Okay, so that should that should that should do just fine. So see, I've got one version that's got no sweep on top and a version that does. So in order to create this version, I simply selected this one, hit Edit Type, duplicated it, and said uh, just added tacked on to the end of the name with sweep. Okay, so then I end up with this brick on wood uh, stud with water table. Sorry, instead of with sweep. If I hit edit type, you can see what that looks like by editing the sweep or adding the sweep. Um, what you have to do is go into the structure and make sure you're looking at a section view here and we want to add a sweep. So here's that sweep profile. So I'm going to delete it and start over again. So just show you how to get in there and do it. So here, this is what the wall is going to look like to begin with. When you hit sweeps, the first thing you'll do is load the profile that you want. You can get the profile from going to the profile section and then under the, I think it's under walls, you're going to have um, I can't remember which one we ended up using Let's try Let's try just that one reveal bit brick horse. So that profile has now been loaded, but we haven't added a sweep yet. So I'm going to hit add sweep and then I should be able to see that oh it was a parapet a precast that I've so I think I loaded the right one. So there's our uh, wall sweep brick horse. We've got one, two, or three bricks, and I'm going to pick the first one and hit um, apply. And you'll see there's the brick down here at the bottom of the win of the wall. The reason it's at the bottom of the wall is because it's from base. So let's change this to top. Hit apply, and you're going to see it move to the top. Um, it's sticking out too far, so I'm going to change the um, offset to negative, let's try negative three inches. Apply. And I want to get in close, look at it, see if that's what I want to see. I think that's good. So now I have the wall sweep um, at the top of the wall. Hit OK, hit OK again. And if I want to create a stacked wall that includes that brick wall with the wall sweep which is what I've got here I don't have that here I'm sorry this is what I've got here um, I have made a new wall system called exterior shingle over brick cap with wood stud 2 um, which really should be renamed to just with wood cap uh, with brick cap see I put it cap it and if we want to rename that um, uh, water table instead you could do that but that's basically what I've done is there's a cap on top of the brick uh, and in this structure we have the brick stud with water table being loaded as the base wall we can also add additional wall systems to this if I wanted to insert another third wall system um, the, the uh, I, might, I probably want to stack it so it's up and I could change this to uh, what did I have down before shingles or shingles so let's say I wanted to switch to uh, horizontal siding now I have three different wall systems in my stacked wall I've got shingle clapboard siding and brick so we could stack as many materials as we'd like in here and control their heights um, 
or change their change their variables. So that's a stacked wall and the very basics of a wall sweep.